about four days ago, I returned my ROG Ally for this thing. The Lenovo Legion Go. Goat, okay, goat. This thing, thing is, okay, I'll tell you something. When I buy these things that I review, I just dive into them. I don't, I don't watch any reviews, I don't do anything. I just buy them, I have some expectations, of course, and yeah, I mean, I just vibe through it and hope for the best. I mean, hopefully the producers of the thing that I'm buying have actually thought through the product and know what they're selling, right? But that's not the case with the fucking ROG Ally, okay? It is, okay, I mean, I need to, okay, I need to chill a little down. I actually made this video already, but I swore too much and I thought, okay, YouTube might, might not like it, but I'll try to not to swear in this video anymore, of course. But um, I mean, let's just dive into it. Two days into having the ROG Ally, a pixel appeared. Dead, of course, try to fix it through YouTube videos, whatever, N does not work, okay? That's the first thing. And the next day I just stopped using the device because it started annoying, let's not curse here. It started, it started annoying me really, really, really much, okay? And I couldn't use it, it just was so annoying. So yeah, I mean, it, I couldn't use the device because I mean, once I know that something is wrong with the thing, I do not want to use it, okay? It, I'm just like that. I don't know. I'm built different, okay? And yeah, I mean, that's the first thing. And I was like, okay, should I just return this thing? I'm not going to use it anyway. But um, yeah, I started looking at some options. And then I saw this thing. I saw like one review of the... Or not review. I mean, it was like a performance comparison. They have the same chip, but this thing is faster. Say whatever you want, okay? This thing is faster. And I have tested it and I have myself to prove that that's right this thing is faster in some games it might be worse i don't know but at least from the games i've been playing this thing is faster this thing actually has a faster processor than i have in my gaming pc can you imagine that i have an i7 11 uh, 11800h in my gaming pc of course it's a laptop but this thing you can't say this thing isn't even more portable than that thing so yeah Oh, more things, more things. The screen, the screen, I did not actually complain. Yeah, that's my foot. I actually did not complain about the screen on the ROG Ally. I liked it a lot, but bigger screen is better always. Don't care. And once you t start uh, typing on the ROG Ally, it just is ass, okay? It's just ass. This thing, ass plus plus works better okay it works better but it's still ass it's not a it's not a i mean it's a touch screen it's not ipad level on an ipad you can't type it's fine but on this thing it's a little harder to type but it's much better than the rog ally this thing much better okay much better more things usb c port i tried uh, discording with my friends is that what's called discording who the fuck says that okay i'm not gonna curse anymore sorry but there's a USB-C port here, USB-C port there. You want to charge the thing, you can't connect headset. Yes, I know, there is a microphone, whatever is that called, aux port, is that, nah. Headphone jack, headphone jack, that's what the retards call it. Headphone jack. <laughs> the headphone jack, it does have a headphone jack, but I have a HyperX Cloud Alpha, whatever, right? So I can't uh, use the headphone jack, I need to connect it through USB. Oh, that is almost shared my earnings off of YouTube. Oops. I'll probably make a video on that someday. But um, yeah, I mean, it, it was just annoying. Thing is, it, the ROG Ally only had one USB-C port. And I'll tell you right now, that is, that is the not smartest thing I have ever seen. Like, like, come on. Like, come on. Who made this thing? Who made this thing? I mean, not this thing, but the the ROG Ally. You get what I'm saying. Who made that thing? It's so bad. That is, that's, like, you have to buy the dock, okay? The dock costs, like, $80 on AliExpress. If you don't buy it on AliExpress, it probably costs, like, $150. Oh, guess what? For $150, what the fuck can you get? You can get this thing. Much better. Only one, okay, you know what? Now I'm gonna dick suck this thing because it's, 
it's so much better. First of all, detachable Joy-Cons. Second of all, this thing can turn into a mouse. Look at this. I'll try to calm down a little. I'm sorry. Boom, mouse. It works fine. Some people might say it looks stupid, but I've tried it on Apex Legends. It works so cool, and I want to learn it because it's so cool. Like this, when you do this, it feels like a gun. You shoot with this, just bow, 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 bow. You get what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying. It's just so cool. Yes, there are some uh, compatibility issues with the controllers inside of Epic Games. I have had that, but that might get solved after a while. I don't know. I have updated all the drivers. This thing is faster than the ROG Ally. It does not have a fingerprint sensor, by the way. I forgot to mention that in the past videos. It does not have a fingerprint sensor, which I liked about the ROG Ally. And the sound setup is worse on this thing. But I'm using headphones all the time, so I don't really care. Uh, that's not a deal breaker for me. Yeah, one fan, but the th thermals on this thing are better. No clue how that makes sense. Oh, it does have a SD card, micro SD card slot, which does not overheat. Yeah, that's right. It overheats on the ROG Ally. Yeah, I mean, this thing in general just looks cooler. It does have a stand. Can you see this? Looks cool. Oh. Two extra, oh my God, okay, this micro, no, this. Okay, let me just calm down. Two more buttons down here. <laughs> Bro needs to calm down. Okay, yeah, I mean, these things feel good. It does have a trackpad. I mean, there's a lot of things. The screen is better, 144 Hertz. Better uh, screen, the ROG Ally has a 1080p screen. This thing has 1600 i think is that what it's called 1600p i think that's what it's called because we have 1080p which is what the rog ally then you have 1440p and then this thing has 1600p and then you have 4k or whatever um yeah so this thing has um 1600p which is better than 1440p and yeah, I mean, the screen is just better. But one thing I do not like about uh, 1600p is that once you try to take down the resolution on the screen to like some like 1080p to make the games run smoother, um, yeah, you can see the pixels and it looks like dog shit. I do not know why screens do that, but I guess they do. I have no clue why, okay? I have no clue why. But it looks like it's like running in 720p. When you try to turn 1080p on this thing, it looks like 720p. But if you look close, while it's on 1600p, uh, you can't see the freaking pixels. It looks like, okay, it looks awesome, okay? I mean, yeah, I mean, I guess if you zoom in too much, of course there are pixels, but you can't see them, okay? You can't see them. Uh, but I mean, you couldn't on the ROG Ally neither, so it's all good. I mean, you could see them more, this thing is much better. What's the time? I need to go work out soon and I need to go eat some eggs. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna just wrap this up. There's a lot of things, okay? Do your own research. Yeah, when a, when a YouTuber says that, oh my God, that is not good. But yeah, performance, much better. Everything about this thing is much better. Look, iPad. Isn't that cool? I just turned this thing into a, oh, iPad. Boom, iPad. Cool. Smaller bezels, I love that. While on the ROG Ally, the bezels were a little annoying because it said ROG here. And there was like an entire freaking strip here. So like this entire uh, task, is is it called a task bar? I think it's called a task bar. Am I right? Task, task bar settings, yeah, it's a task bar. This entire thing was black. I mean, you could... Do you know what I mean? It, was, it wasn't it was the screen itself. It was a bezel. And it was really annoying. All sides had bezels. And uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. There are a lot of downsides on this thing. But uh, I mean, I have only been using this thing for about a... Uh, how long? Like four, three, four days. So I'm not too deep into this thing. But I have noticed so many good things about this thing. And uh, yeah, I mean, I guess that's a wrap. I don't really have anything else to say. Oh, also, I don't know if I said this already, but case is free. It can comes with this thing, which you, if you wanted a case for ROG Ally, you had to pay like an extra like 40 bucks or something like that, which sucks. 
But yeah, that's wrap. Thank you guys for watching. Like, dislike, subscribe. Put some hate comments in the comments because I know I'm gonna get them. It's probably the same like the analog pocket. When you try to say your own opinion, say that it isn't that good. People hate. But yeah. Yeah, I mean, hate away. Come on. Just do it. Thank you guys for watching. Like, dislike, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace out.